profanity, comes of profanity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, form, let's say form changes, okay, for sake of argument, we agree. Does the component change? God and Holy Ghost is made of spirit. Human beings are made of flesh and bones. <laughs> and this is Zuzu, <clears throat> the one who knows everything. Is the concept of a trinity scientifically proven? <laughs> You know, I like it when the Muhammadan they speak about science. Scientifically, is it scientifically proven that your God cannot have a son? Like, did you check his vagina and you look at his, uh, so, or maybe he, his penis is not working? Like, if I say scientifically proven that your God or this man, he cannot have children, that mean scientifically, examined by doctors or scientists so when the Muslim they come with such a stupid silly title scientifically I mean those people believe in a flying carpet those people believe that Abraham when supposedly a king tried to burn him a lizard came with the speed of light on his bicycle, he was doing shopping, and he came all the insects and the animals in the world. They came to stop the fire except this filthy lizard. And what the Muslims they speak about? <clears throat> Scientifically. Look who is talking about science. Is it scientifically proven that Mary, she can have a son without a father? Abduls? Is it proven scientifically that Mary is a woman who can prove, you know, can you give us scientific proof? They will say to you, no, but that's the third. Because the brand, he is debunking himself. The Christian themselves didn't believe in Mary. That he never them. But you stupid idiot. We believe it's a miracle. Exactly. Ah, uh -huh. so God is a miracle when you want. God is not a miracle when you want. <clears throat> so when you want, you have to use the logic of science. And when you want, you throw it in the trash. Hmm? Here you see the hypocrisy and the stupidity of this cult. But let us hear the Quran Yuka and see what he will say. Isaac and I, the Christians explain the concept of tr Trinity scientifically by giving the example of water, which can be in three states, solid, liquid, and gas, in the form of ice. By the way, we are not proving that scientifically. This is not true. This is false. I teach that always. I think they heard it from me. Uh, we give it as an example of how three can be one, but this is not about God scientifically proving. We give things to prove that the stupid Muhammad, I mean, even Islam is based on three. If one is missing, there's no Islam. Muhammad, he receives Quran from Jibreel. If there's no Jibreel, there's no Muhammad, or there's no Allah, there's no Islam. But Islam cannot be exist by Allah alone. The Muslim, when they do abolition, their prayer is not accepted because it's not ready perfectly unless they do abolition, which is based on number three. They have to, to wipe their hand, even their nose. They have to sniff water three times. They have to say Allahu Akbar three times. They have to wipe their feet three times, their face, their ears. So Islam is against Trinity, but Islam is a Trinitarian practice. Because why I need to do it three times? Allah Himself is His names is the multiply of number three, ninety nine names. <clears throat> uh, so when the Muslim he try 
you know, to, to refute us, we will see what he will say. It's water and vapor. Similarly, one God is a tri triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Is this explanation scientifically correct? Just a comment before you answer. We should not tempt God. We should not test God. But here we aren't testing God. We are testing the human being. We should not test God. But here we are testing you. And God promises that any believer who has deadly poison, he will not die. He will do speak in foreign tongues. We aren't testing God. We know God is correct. He will see. Uh, look, look. What does it have to do with the question? You need testing God. You know, if you agree, you know. First of all, in the Bible, it says, just to show you how they lie too. If anyone eat poison, this is not about eating poison, you idiot. Don't the Christian believe that Jesus himself was crucified and killed? Isn't it the disciple one after one, they were killed too? So is the Christianity teach that if you are a Christian, nobody can kill you? That only the foolish answer, the foolish answer of a foolish man like you. The Bible never teach that if you are a Christian, you will not be killed. In fact, it's the opposite. Jesus said, Time would come and people think by killing you, they are doing a favor to God. Killing you, but not trying to kill you. So the Bible confirmed that Christians can be killed and they can die normally like anybody. But let us examine your prophet statement. Your city prophet is the one who said that if you eat seven ajwa, And this is literally, this is Ajwa, this is not metaphorically. Christian cannot be killed by the poison of this world. Some some Christian to try to make it uh, uh, literally, which I believe is silly, because we know that Jesus himself was killed. So if you if they can kill Jesus, and Jesus is the example for us, and he laid down himself, and Jesus told the disciples, you will be killed one after one. So why they will not be killed? But this is your prophet receiving information from his God Allah for sure Muhammad is not a doctor as the Muslim they say and you know therefore any information about uh, anything you know is coming from Allah <clears throat> this is Muhammad is speaking about what about if you eat seven ajwa <clears throat> a day your uh, your body will be always safe, protected, immune, against poison, and against something the Muslim believe in, it's called the black magic. <laughs> and here we see the hypocrisy of the Muslims, because Muhammad himself, he died by poison. Like, he make a statement about eating ajwa, somebody might say it might work. But Muhammad himself, he confessed that he died by poison. If we go to different hadith, <clears throat> we will find this. This is Muhammad, and this is Al-Bukhari. <clears throat> no joking. Confirming that Muhammad died by poison. Aisha, she said, and the Prophet in his element which he died, used to say not once not twice every five minutes he say oh Aisha oh Aisha oh Aisha the poison I ate and now it's got in my order if Muhammad is sent by God and he say nothing wrong and he don't speak foolishness or fake words then we must believe that he was telling the truth who of you Muslim dare to say you don't believe Muhammad telling the truth? Did Muhammad tell the truth when he said, if you eat seven ajwa, no poison can kill you? And did Muhammad tell the truth when he said, he's dying from poison? Hmm? And here all of this is to avoid the, the, the question about the Trinity. So he jumped to talk about something else. Let us go to Zuzu. Sure that every believer can speak. We are testing you whether you are a believer or not. Coming to the question of the sister that 
there are Christians who say that scientifically we can prove the concept of trinity like how water can be in three states solid liquid and gas like ice water and vapor so similarly God is in three forms father son and holy ghost how to reply and is this scientifically correct scientifically I do agree water can be in three forms solid liquid and gas ice water and vapor but scientifically we also know that the component of water remains the same H2O two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen the components remain the same the constituent remains the same the forms keep on changing there is no problem let's check with the concept of trinity concept of trinity father son holy ghost form let's say form changes okay for sake of argument you agree does the component change god and holy ghost is made of spirit human beings are made of flesh and bones <laughs> you see <clears throat> here you see the stupidity the water is a is not a creator is not the creator is not god so we're talking about god you idiot and if the change is what make god cannot be God, like he missed to say he came to us in a man. Isn't it this is your stupid God, he come in a form? He changed his form? <clears throat> Let us see. Isn't it this is your God? He come in image other than the one, other than the one they knew. So he just actually, you see, this is why if those people debate me, this guy will be, will, will, people will die laughing at him in two seconds. He just said, the water, okay, this is a change of uh, physics, but uh, God, I mean, okay, the three component. So now Jesus is a man. How the change happen? He forgot this is God. God, He can do as He wish. This is why we call our God Almighty, and your God is all potato, because our God <clears throat> can do things you your God cannot do. Let me get some <clears> or <throat> scan these I bought from Amazon for my voice. Sorry. All right. <laughs> so here they ask Muhammad, can we see Allah in the day of our uh, uh, resurrection? Like, can we see him physically, you know? And Muhammad here, you will notice that Muhammad is speaking about seeing Allah as seeing a physical object. He speak about seeing the moon. He said, do you have a problem of seeing the moon in the night where it's full? They said, no. He said, okay he said uh, do you feel trouble to see in the sun where there is no cloud over it they said no he said verily you will see Allah the same as you see those which mean the sun and the moon all right so now we will see Allah so the Quran says nobody can see Allah the Quran says nobody can see Allah. Muhammad says you can see Allah, but that in the day of resurrection. Why we cannot see Allah, according to Muhammad? Because, you know, uh, he's a glorious, he, they are trying to copy the story from, uh, from the Old Testament. <clears throat> So we cannot see Allah because He is glorious, and if you look at Allah, you will be burned. And we know the story of Musa, which is mentioned in the Quran. But here we now we have a problem. Do Allah lose His glory in the Day of Judgment? Are you with me? If the reason we cannot see Allah. <clears throat> 
now, and Allah told Moses, you, you cannot see me, right? Uh, then how we can see Allah in the Day of Judgment? Muslims, they will say, Allah will make himself uh, able to be seen. But isn't it this is the change you are talking about, but you are refusing? Are you saying to me, Allah will humble himself? He will lower his glory, so his glory will not be the same? Do you understand, guys, uh, what the stupid point Zakir Naik trying to make here? But Zakir Naik, he assumed that every single one of those, <clears throat> including the, the Christian who is sitting at the table in front of him, he do not know Islam. He do not know what the Muslim uh, uh, believe. They do not, he do not know that Allah will come and people will see him physically. And not only that, Allah himself will even change his form. He will change physically his format. Uh, <clears throat> if we continue reading the hadith in the front of us, you will see how Allah, he changed his shape. But Zach and I are speaking against that. He says, but do God change? Your God does. In the case of my God, nothing changed. Because from the beginning, God, he says, God created Adam in his image. So Adam is created in the image of God, not the opposite. So that change happened. Or what God he did, he humbled himself so we can see him and we will not be burned and destroyed. <clears throat> If you go down, you will see here, after Muhammad explained, read with me carefully here. Allah would then come to them in a form other than his own form. This is the Muslim translation, by the way. In Arabic, it says in this hadith, uh, surah, which means creation, image. Remember, when he created Adam, he created him in a surah. So a Muslim, they can say surah is not mean uh, a creation. That's false. Here we go. Or let us say a shape, you know, and for better, better maybe wording. So Muhammad, he copied this from the Old Testament. Allah created Adam in his own image. <clears throat> so what the word image here mean? Mean uh, the physical being. Is, is Adam as a physical or he is an image as a picture? Maybe a TV image, maybe. No, this is a person. The same word use, <clears throat> Allah will come to the Muslims in other image. An image which they do not, uh, they don't know. And this way he says, form or image other than his own form, which will not be recognized by them. So Allah now, according to Zakir Naik, God cannot be a person who change. How God, he come as a man. But their God, he changed. So the Muhammadan, because they are hypocrites like their prophet, the black stone worshippers, kissers, they accused you of something which is in their religion. Are you with me?
uh, somebody saying CP saying that Allah has a physical shape without going in depth don't do doesn't do much what they go in depth what does that mean physical shape is a physical shape I don't care if it's made from silicon made it from plastic made it from beef made it from concrete as you see this is Allah himself this is not the shadow of Allah people they make silly statement if you don't go in depth what in depth should I put uh, like a, a, a bar of steel inside Allah to check what is inside Allah <laughs> what do you mean in depth you know people they throw at you very weird statement and when the Quran says or Muhammad he says this that Allah he changed his shape in fact in different hadith it says it clearly shape you know shape so the Lord will come to them in a shape other than the one they knew we can search for it Say here in Arabic it says, Allah will come to them in the image other than the one which they knew. Which they knew. Let us see here this one. Ah, here we go. We found it. <clears throat> Do you see the word shape? Let me post the link for all of you. A ramble on YouTube. And on Discord. Please shave it, shave it, save it for the next for the next time. So next time we would uh, instead of looking for it, you guys you can help me and post post it right away. So this is where it says the shape. <clears throat> All right. And let me uh And this is the link. So here you see how the Muslim they debunk themselves. If you cannot accept God, for He changed His shape, well, you don't accept Allah. And as you see, this is a hadith mutawatir, which we repeat many times, very authentic. And the Muslims cannot say, we don't accept this hadith. And look now, we have other problem. Allah not only he changed his shape he changed it and the Muslim they will call him shaitan when Allah come to them first time if you read it with me here Allah will come to them in a shape other than they knew or they know and will say I am your God they will say get lost potato what an idiot you're a liar you're a scumbag you're a fraud ah, ha 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 <laughs> you, you think you can fool us it's in front of you so the Muslim themselves, they will make fun of Allah just because he changed his shape. Those Muhammadan, they are farting at their God just because he changed. This is the same Allah. This is not a new Allah, different Allah. This is the same Allah. The guy, he just changed his shape. They start talking to him like a bunch of Mickey Mouse. Uh, 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 you are not Allah. And here, by the way, you see the stupid uh, structure of the story. So Muhammad trained the Muslim that in the day of judgment, Allah will change his shape and will come to you. And the Muslims still reject him? I mean, you stupid eager. Jesus told you Allah will come to you in different shape. And the first question you ask yourself, I mean, why Allah is doing that? I mean, what's the point of this story? Is that like a hide and seek game? 
So the same reason, the Muslim, they are claiming that they are debunking the Trinity. By what? God is not a changeable, with God is not a changeable by, uh, uh, you know, by ethic, by uh, uh, power, but not by uh, God, he can come as you wish. That's why we call him God. God is almighty. You know what almighty mean? Almighty mean have all the might, whatever might you can imagine, power. So in one hand, the Muslims, when they debunk the Trinity, they debunk their God, that he have no might. As an example, the stupid Muhammad in the Quran, he decided to refute the Christians. How he refuted them? He says, how Allah can have a son, he don't have a girlfriend. And this is another problem, by the way, in Islam. If the Quran given to Muhammad by God, how come the Quran do not know the Trinity? The Quran and the Trinity is Mary and Jesus and Allah. First, we don't believe in Allah. Secondly, we don't believe that Mary is part of the Trinity. Mary is a wonderful woman chosen by God. And she is not in any way, in any mean, part of the Trinity. The stupid Muhammad, he have his own Trinity. You know, if this God is God, shouldn't he knew what even the Christians believe in? Shouldn't he knew that the Christians don't believe that Mary is God? And this is for all the major churches, Protestant, Catholic, <clears throat> and Orthodox. How come Allah is God? He do not know a simple thing. Any Muslim in YouTube, he knew the Christian believed that Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I see Muhammad <clears throat> is nothing but a stupid man. And I see nothing but the Quran is made by a fool. To the point the, the, the Quran asking Jesus, he Jesus, did you say to people who accept me and my mother? Hmm? And here you question the knowledge of Allah. The Muslim, they say to you, when God, he came to the uh, Garden of uh, Eden, he said to Adam, Adam, where are you? The Muslim, they say, oh, your God do not even know it is Adam. <laughs> Well, your God keep questioning people about things, you know. And look what Jesus said to him in the Quran, in chapter 5, verse number 116. I mean, this is hilarious. The Muslim, the add words, by the way, is not in the Quran, because the Quran is not a, it's not a book you can read without being confused. So the Muslim, they have to add a bracket. I mean, the half of the Quran is brackets. If we take the brackets, the Quran is gone. And when Allah, he says to Isa, do you did you say to uh, to men uh, worship me and my mother as two gods beside Allah? So now the stupid Allah, Akam Muhammad, he make it so clear that the Christian believe in the Trinity, which is Mary and Jesus. So Mary, she marry Allah, and they have a baby. His name is Jesus. What a cute family! <laughs> and then Jesus, he gave a screwdriver to Allah. Look what he said to him. He said, the glory to you, you idiot. It wasn't for me to say what I had not no right. Had I said such a thing, you surely should know it, you idiot. Do you see it? So he's saying to him, are you stupid or what? Shouldn't you are supposed to your God and you know everything? If I say it, you know it. Why are you asking me? And then, the Muslim in translation, look what they say. They say, you know what is in my inner self, though, though I do not know what is in your, in yours truly. Hey Muslims, what is that inner self? What the heck is that? Allah have inner self? In Arabic it says, nafsi. Nefsi soul. Nefsi mean my soul. You change the translator. Who is this, this uh, potato? Hilal Khan. We change the translator. Let us see the different potato. Uh, Arbari. Remember always you have to change the translators a thousand times before you can find a translator maybe close to the truth. But if you don't know Arabic, all of them for you is the same. 
And then here it says, you knowest, uh, though you knowest, knowest it, knowing that it is in my soul, but I do not know within the soul. Hey Muslim, do your God Allah have a soul? What is this? Don't tell me that Allah now he used the wrong word in Arabic. Allah cannot have a son without having a girlfriend. Well, the God of the Christian, he can have a son without a girlfriend. That means your God, Allah, is a man. My God is not. My God, he can come as a man, but my God is not a man like us. My God, he does not need a boat to walk in water. He can walk in water. My God, he do not need medicine to make you see. Or a surgery. Jesus can make you see. My God do not need black magic to make you come from the ground when you are dead for three days. My God, he can. Your God cannot. In fact, if we measure what Jesus can do and what Allah cannot do, we will find everything. Allah can do nothing. Allah do not know the judgment day. In, in, in Christianity, Jesus made it clear, only my father. Why? Because the father is the one who has the authority for the day of judgment. But in Islam, Allah do not know the day of judgment. Why? Do Allah is part of the Trinity and he have a father and his father is the one who has the authority for the day of, of judgment? When the Arab, they challenge Allah. <clears throat> and they ask him, how come you don't have miracles? <laughs> I mean, guys, look at this. You see all of this? This is the most funny drama ever. Imagine, <clears throat> I claim to be sent by God. And then you say to me, okay, how come your God did not give you any miracle? Huh? How come? The stupid Muhammad, he told him that, my God, Allah told me, wait, and Allah is waiting for the miracle to happen too. <laughs> Read with me. This is a religion from God? Wait, and I'm waiting with you? Did Jesus say to them, when they say to him, make, uh, you know, Mary, she said to him, those people out of uh, wine, you know, do something. I mean, why Mary, she's asking Jesus, you know, Jesus did not say, wait, the miracle will happen one day. No. Even Jesus said to her, it's not my time yet. I'm not here for this. But because he loved Mary, he did what she asked for. He commanded them to bring water, and he commanded the water to become wine. That is Jesus. Your God, they keep asking him for a miracle. He says, wait, and I'm waiting with you. Wait, and what? And I'm waiting with you? How many times we have to wait in the same verses? And the people keep asking, how come? His God never sent anything, like not even a single thing. Wait, and I'm waiting with you.
What is this? And by the way, they are adding the word watching. No, there's no watching here. That's a false translation. Who is the idiot who translate this? Watching? Watching what? It's a movie? Or a bar. <clears throat> Let us soak it to Khattab. Khattab, the clear Quran. The clear Quran. The Muslim, they like Khattab. <laughs> They ask why has no other sign has been sent down to him? Other, what other? There's no other. It says, how come not even a single sign from his Lord? Say, uh, Muhammad, uh, the knowledge of the unseen with Allah alone. So wait. The uh, two, I'm waiting with you. <laughs> Imagine you say to Jesus, uh, Jesus, you claim to who you claim to be. How come you cannot do any miracle? Oh, wait, I'm waiting. Let us wait together. Zach and Mike, do you have anything to say? Good temperance. First of all, Allah is waiting. The code is waiting for in America to happen. It's very normal and very logical. Like what? This is God. So Muhammad, how? Okay, hold on. How the Muslim they say that the Quran itself is a miracle, and yet he says, "Wait, and I'm waiting with you." I mean, if the Quran is a miracle. He just made a miracle. Why do you say the miracle? The Quran is a miracle. Don't you see? Are you stupid? What? Those statements proving that the Quran is just a dumb book, or your God, Allah, He forgot that by making this verse, He just made a miracle supposedly, because you Muslim claim that the Quran is a miracle. So why are you saying wait and waiting? Wait, waiting for what? Just do it. And the people, they keep waiting for the miracle. <clears throat> and the miracle never happened. Even the one they speak about, which is the split of the, of the moon, is a joke. It's an eclipse. The foolish Muhammad, when he see eclipse, go and check in the, just type the word eclipse in the Hadith uh, website. Muhammad, he go not when there is an eclipse. And here it says, by the way, look what it says. The judgment day is drawn near and the moon is split. This is a sign of day of judgment. Allah, he lied. If this is a sign of a day of judgment, what happened? The day of judgment changed. I mean, what do you want more than the moon split, not a cracked? Split became two pieces. In the hadith, even it says, that the Mount of Hara appear from between the two cracks or two two split, which means that the moon became two pieces and they are millions of miles away from each other. Remember, we are talking about something in the sky. So when we see a mountain showing in the world, so such a thing. I mean, imagine if the moon is split two pieces. This is not about Islam now. This is the whole world will see it. Even those who have a daytime will see it. Not only will see it, that will impact the oceans, will, will make cause disaster, tsunami. I mean, crazy stuff will happen. In the top of that, one piece or maybe two of them, they will be grabbed by the earth because now the gravity of the, of the moon changed. And became half a size, became two pieces. So usually when this happened, when this happened, as the graffiti theory says, that the big object would have grabbed the small object. And then the moon have to hit the earth. Same time, why the moon is together? Like the verse says, Allah, he split the moon. Did Allah put the moon together? Do the verse says, Allah, he put the moon together? No. Does it even say Allah? He did it. No. It doesn't say who did this. The moon is split, sign of day of judgment. <laughs> Same time, by the way, this is a chapter 54 in the Quran. But 
there is way more verses in the as you know the Quran by the way is not written in order as Muhammad received and this is the problem the Muslim they claim that the one who changed location of the words of, 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 of God he is doing corruption and the Muslim agree that all the Quran is messed up this is not what this is uh, you can go right now and search for Quran according to Revelation you will see the order so the one became uh, was 50 uh, is 54 is number 10 the one is 10 is number 11 the one is 11 is number 20 etc so the Quran is messed up the first chapter Muhammad he reads or he, he, he receives supposed to is the one who says read and the angel he's squeezing if you remember but this is in the Quran now chapter 96 chapter what 96 so from chapter number one to become chapter 96 then if we type again the word in which mean wait we will find all those verses which happen long after the chapter of the moon saying they asking him about how come you have no sign and they say wait and I'm waiting with you wait wait and I'm waiting with you if we type here What I've assigned a miracle from his God, you will see it says always Muhammad have no sign. They keep asking him why does not, why has not a sign sent down upon him from his Lord. And this is all over the Quran, as you see. And this chapter, by the way, number 10, is at the end of the Quran, long after the chapter of the moon, based on the revelation order. They keep asking him, how come you don't have a sign? And Muhammad don't have a sign. Why? What is the problem exactly? Because simply, he's a fake prophet. Why they are unbelievers? Because this guy, he has zero signs. And actually, there's a verse in the Quran. Where Allah, he confirmed that he told the Jews not to accept any prophet unless he give a sacrifice and then Allah, He sent the fire from the from heaven to consume it. Even this one, Muhammad could not do. But Allah made condition. Allah said to the Jews, according to the Muslims. Now we know that the Jews don't believe in Allah. Unless there's a Jew, he's an idiot. He think it's the same God, but there's many of them, same as the Christians. In chapter of Ali Imran, they said these, uh, you know, people said Allah has made a covenant. By the way, it doesn't say God. You know, it says Allah. This guy, I didn't know why he replaced the word Allah with God. As you know, in Islam, Allah. Is a name is not uh, is not a word mean God that's false Al-Ladina. shut up Al-Ladina. all right read and love those Jews they say Verily Allah has taken our promise not to believe in a messenger unless he bring us a farin which a fire, the fire from heaven will come down and will eat it. Yum, 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 yum. 
<clears throat> okay. Did Allah in the Quran say this is a lie? I did not do that today. No, he confirmed it. He confirmed it. Allah, he says, okay, well, verily come to you, messenger before me, with the clearest sign, even with that you speak of. Why then you did you kill them? Hey, Muslims, who is the prophet? Okay, hold on. Look at the excuse. Allah told them, don't accept any messenger unless he gives sacrifice. And then I, to show you that I'm the one who sent this man, I will send the fire in front of your eyes and will take that sacrifice. The same as what happened with Abraham. <clears throat> so now the Quran confirmed that Allah, he made a condition on the Jews not to accept anyone unless he do that. So why are you upset? Because they refuse Muhammad. This is the proof Muhammad could not do it. Muhammad do not need to do anything. Just to bring a sheep, slaughter the sheep, leave it on the ground. Fire will come from the sky. The Jews, they cannot, they will be amazed. Why don't do it? Especially if Allah, he made the condition on them. And then the Quran says, why you killed them? Hey Muslim, can you name for me the, the prophets, the Jews they killed from the Quran? Who is a Muslim can show me a single Jewish prophet, the Jews they killed from the Quran? Can't you tell that the Quran is a stupid book? Because if I say something, that means I believe in it. Isn't it you Muslim you say Allah will not allow the Jew to kill his messengers? And that's why he saved Jesus? 